I welcome you with love and appreciation for those out there listening. Recently, research has come out, still at the animal level of research, that shows that fasting can regenerate the pancreas. And more specifically, regenerate the beta cells of the pancreas, which is what makes insulin. That's extremely exciting, extremely impressive. You know, in, in our world, the United States, over 116 million people have pre-diabetes or diabetes. 27% of the people 65 and older have full-on diabetes. It's a major problem. So to know, which I have already discovered in our fasting retreats, that truly the function of the pancreas does improve. I can't, couldn't prove it was making beta cells, but I can see that people are able to produce more insulin afterwards. So it's like, it's very important validation for the fact that we can prevent and reverse the diabetes. Now I know that, we clinically proved it, but to have university level research, even with this, if it's with animals, come out to show while wow, we're reversing diabetes, uh, uh, rebuilding the pancreas is the key concept. So it's an amazingly uh, exciting piece of information. Now, in addition, their research on fasting, and there's different kinds of fat fasting, intermittent fasting. Uh, the, the key word is cyclic. Okay, and it appears what their discovery is, is that when we go from eating to fasting to eating, that cycle sets off an upgrade in the epigenetic program. And it actually turns on the anti-aging uh, metabolism, which is wonderful, and actually creates a protective anti-aging mechanism which they talk about a little bit vaguely, but it's anti-aging. They also talk about the increasing of stem cells, which are the cells that rebirth and create, uh, are, and are associated with a, a process called uh, autolysis. So autolysis is the destruction of old dead and dying cells and the increase of new cells. So this is what they're, they're documenting, and also it's uh, fascinating to hear. I've always mentioned that, yes, fasting is really good for diabetes, type 2, really uh, primarily type 1 it works, but there are some risks with that. That's why I don't do fasting with people who are type 1. But they also cited research that shows it has an anti-cancer effect. Now, I've been talking about cutting down breast cancer by 50%, but they're talking about 50% less of all cancers. That's another level of discussion. And they also show it works for cardiovascular disease and all chronic diseases because it deals with the chronic inflammation that's associated with it. So we're now looking about fasting as perhaps the best anti-aging thing you can do. Cyclic fasting, and cyclic includes every you know, up to three to six months, not just on a weekly basis. So, wow, that's really good for us to know. It has an anti-cancer effect, anti, uh, helps with osteoarthritis, and really for all chronic diseases. So now we've got a more serious a documentation of the power of fasting in our lives. And they also point out that it significantly increases the immune system. So this cyclic fasting, not just you fast once in your life, but on a periodic basis, the outer range is, is really uh, every six months. And of course, people can do it at shorter times too. But over the long period of time, every six months seems to be really good. So now, 
we really had this very, just really to me very exciting to think about we can regenerate the pancreas with fasting. That I knew, but to see it proven in university level studies is wonderful. So I bless you all uh, to, to share this very exciting new information, uh, not only for longevity, for anti-cancer, for protection of heart disease, for building the immune system, for upgrading and creating a anti-aging metabolism and protecting the strength of that metabolism. So may everyone be blessed with this new information and be inspired to maybe want to consider doing fasting on a regular basis in your life. Blessings to everyone.